Hello, you sexy whiskers, and welcome back into Kingdom Come Deliverance. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the Apex ENB for Kingdom Come Deliverance. Now, this is available on the Nexus. This mod was created by Digital Dreams, and you can see right now, it's very, very pretty. I like how the colors just pop. It looks fantastic. So what I wanted to do was take a quick look around, see how the game looks in different areas. We can see that this guy's clothes are very uh, vibrant. I do like how uh, kind of vibrant it makes everything. I mean, you guys can see right now, this is stunning. This looks almost like real life. It's like I'm looking out a bloody window. So I wanted to go into my graphic settings to show you kind of what my system is currently at. So you've got high object quality, ultra high game effects, lighting to very high. Now this is incredibly important. As they say in the description for this mod, you need to have lighting on very high. Also, you need to have shader quality set to very high. Now, shader quality from what I've kind of experienced has an impact on performance. So putting this to very high is of course going to impact that. And everything else is on high or very high. Apart from water details, because honestly, I don't notice a difference. What I always recommend doing when you start playing Kingdom Come Deliverance is to spin around for a bit. Let all of the world load in. As you guys can see, around here, there are some frame drops, but that's because that's obviously the Townburg kind of village center down there. So you've got a lot of NPCs, you've got a lot of buildings, you've got a lot going on. This definitely really works best when it's early morning and you have that sunlight coming down. You guys can see the trees, they kind of lit up from the sun coming from above. And you can kind of see how they kind of brighten up as the sun hits them. I love that. And of course, behind the tree is of course a lot more shaded and that is down to the shader. Now would I use this while making videos normally? Probably not just because of the performance hit. When I create videos I need it to run as good as possible and also I can do a lot of this in video editing afterwards. But for someone who wants to experience Kingdom Come Deliverance at its best then yes this would be a good mod to download because just look at it. It looks great. Apart from that shadow. What, what is happening there? Oh, that's a... Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I, I'm so sorry, lady. I, I thought I had the shadow set to high. That was weird. I've always said that Kingdom Come Deliverance's world is absolutely stunning and how it's built and how it's created is great. Take a look at this, for example. You guys can actually see the shadow line here as it's slowly moving across as the sun, of course, is moving in the background. So you have that difference in shade over here with, of course, the guy in the red compared to the guy in the uh, dark brown outfit. And this mod definitely makes that pop quite a lot more. I just can't stop looking at how good this looks because you've got the uh, amazing greens over there and the blue. So I get really kind of into stuff like this. I think it's absolutely bloody beautiful. So installing this mod is pretty simple. All you need is a relatively good PC and you can download this to your computer. So over on the Nexus mods page, you will find Apex EMB. Now go down to the bottom here and you will find installation. Now this installation page is very important because you need this. This is the latest EMB series. And you'll be brought to this page and just go and download the latest version. Whichever's at the top is generally the latest version. Download that. When you open the zip, it will look like this. You have regular and experimental. Personally for me, I needed to use experimental because my game would crash with regular. I would recommend trying both starting with regular version first. Once you open this up you will find this. Now this is bin EMB series. Now there's a lot of files here. You don't need these at all. Just go to bin win64 and put these into your Win64 folder inside Kingdom Come Deliverance. So as you guys can see, I've got them there and there. So coming back to Apex EMB, come to Files and then download manually this file here. You will get a folder that looks like this and it does say install reshade and put this into the bin folder, the bin folder that we were just in inside Kingdom Come Deliverance. You can find Kingdom Come Deliverance's folder by going to Steam and then going to Settings over here, Manage and then Browse Local Files. So once you've put these files into that same bin Win64 folder, go back and then put this into the main Kingdom Come Deliverance folder. So you've got these three files and that is it, you are done. 
As I said before, make sure to go into your settings after this and set your shaders to very high as well as lighting. Now if it does crash, as I said, put the experimental files in instead of the regular version. And you can make your Kingdom Come Deliverance look like this. And yeah, this is absolutely stunning. I love it. So if you look outside, you can see how incredibly bright it is. But if I was to step forward, your eyes actually adjust to the sunlight. Wow, that's really, really nice. I like that. Now, obviously, I think the game generally does that anyway, but that is really kind of pushed by this EMB and it just makes it look a lot brighter. And as I said before, the clouds are a lot more kind of punchy. They're definitely a lot more noticeable. So I wanted to see what the game looked like when the sun was setting. As you guys can see here, you've got these really nice god rays coming down. And uh, yeah, that looks incredibly nice. I've said it before and I'll say it again, Kingdom Come Deliverance has a beautiful world. That has always been the case. But now with the release of the modding tools, people are actually able to come in and make the game look and run even better. And that's what really excites me about mods like this. So we're gonna jump forward to about 9 p.m. and see how this looks. Now the sun has set, you can kind of see the last little bit of sun reflecting off the clouds and you've got this nice pink hue. And that looks really, really nice. It's also started raining. And you can see that little bleed of light coming through these bushes here. And you kind of got that light going down under there. That's pretty nice. Now we're jumping over to midnight. This is what the game looks like at probably its darkest. You've got Townburg Castle over there peering over the world. Now with this kind of moonlight that's hitting the ground, I was expecting to see the moon, but uh, I think it's behind cloud right now. So I'm not sure why we can see moonlight, but it does look very, very pretty. So for an example, look at this bush that's here. The fact that you have the dark kind of area here where it's dark green, but you've also got the kind of like more light and kind of whited tips of these leaves here where the moonlight, inverted commas, is hitting. Um, I think that looks really, really nice. What does it look like with my torch out though? Wow, <laughs> that looks really nice. Okay, that is really, really nice. Kind of got the little tree over here, just hanging about. Um, yeah, it lights everything up properly, which it should. Obviously, you've got the lighting set to high and shaders set to high, so that's obviously going to have quite a big impact on how the game looks. Um, but technically, it looks really, really nice. Like, obviously, everything's got that bit more of a punch to it. It's got more brightness going on, kind of like lighting up this area here. And, of course, it's pushing those shadows behind the tree against the rocks, and that just looks really, really nice. But anyway, I just wanted to show you this because I think they did a really good job with this EMB. It makes it look a bit more realistic, even though Kingdom Come looks pretty realistic to begin with. Um, I think this just gives that extra push in the right direction for graphics, and I think it looks really really nice. So I will leave a link in the description below for Digital Dreams Nexus page. Go follow them. Go download their ENB. I think they actually released one for Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC as well. So uh, yeah, go check them out. I'll leave a link in the description below. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this and if it helped you, then make sure to leave a like down below. But until next time, that's me. Out. Bye guys. But look at the reflection on that mud, on the light. Hang on, let me turn my light off. Sorry, I just need to do this. Oh, it looks so good. It lo Look at that, look at that right there. You see that? As he walks away, it's obviously gonna get darker and darker here until it completely fades away. That is beautiful. Sorry, I I'm gonna go now, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> bye guys.